Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples. Welcome to Sharp Ends. <clears throat> I'm super stoked about what's in here. It's another uh, pre-order from Bark Rivers and DLT Trading Company. I'm super stoked about this because I do a lot of barbecuing and I process a lot of meat. And I think this knife is going to be absolutely freaking awesome for this. And I think that you already know what it is. So let's take a look at it. All right. So, um... Yes, uh, you know, this, uh, I was able to choose a handle material for this and all things considered, it came in relatively cheaply. I didn't go for one of your more expensive type things. All I got was G10, um, red G10, which looks really nice on this. Uh, I tend to get red handled knives for specifically for kitchen. I have a lot of knives that I use in the kitchen besides just kitchen knives, but this one is probably going to be remaining in the kitchen. Uh, lice handle very thin and small which is okay for what this is supposed to do and you can already tell that this is a fairly long blade um i really like this g10 i really like it full tang very nice all right let's take a look oh it just keeps going and going and going oh my god look how long that is that is a long knife this is the mini kalahari i believe it's what it's called and it is super long convex knife for processing meat wow let's take a look at how long this is this is a four and a half inch well even more maybe maybe more like four and three quarters inch cutting edge and like the blade itself is about five inches handle is nice but this i can already tell this is going to be great absolutely excellent for cutting up meat uh this is 154 cm blade's got some grease on it i'm just going to go ahead and get that off right now 154 cm is a good stainless steel i hope i can keep this tip nice and sharp it comes down to a very fine edge very thin behind the edge very fine tip so i'm going to need to be careful with this make sure it gets cleaned immediately so no one else uses it putting it away and stuff like that i just had an incident where my father actually took one of my uh, bark river knives it was a bird and trout knife and he like put it in a coffee cup inside of my uh sink and he broke the tip off um so I'll have to resharpen that, get that tip back. But, you know, that fine tip right there is going to be great for poking in under meat and slicing things up. And I want to keep it that way. This blade shape is great, how it just swoops up there at the end. Very, very sexy. Uh, of course, it came with a very long, uh, very long sheath for this. Look at that. A nice profile there. Maybe I will take it camping. Who knows? I have so many good knives though that are like multi-purpose for camping that uh, you know I don't know if I really need this. Um, but this is phenomenal. This really rounds off my set of kitchen knives. I got to tell you, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, DLT pre-orders, if you don't know, are really you should just go there and see what they have coming up. <clears throat> I don't know how long this took or when it did. I kind of just check it out every now and then when I see something I like. I put a pre-order on it. It only costs $20. If I don't end up liking it, well, then I just pass. And if I do, they actually include a $20 off coupon. So, uh, you know, I have a couple of those built up. And pretty soon I'll be able to cash in on my chips there for something really big that I ordered from them. Uh, that's also a pre-order. So I'm kind of saving up my pre-order dollars because I have a feeling it's going to be freaking expensive. Wow. Very cool. What do you guys think of this? I think it looks super sweet. This is a convex grind, obviously. Most Bark Rivers are. You would think with this kind of knife, it would just be like a high saber, but it's not. It's a, it's definitely a convex grind. It kind of cups down towards the tip, uh, making this one large bevel towards the edge. Very, very sharp. Do a sharpness test on it. Why not, guys? All the way down to the tip. Oh, wow. Did you guys see that? That went all the way down. Cut very fine. Let's see. Yeah, right down to the tip it's cutting. Very nice. Little sharpening choil there. You'll see it says Bark River Knives, CPM 154. I think CPM 154 is a good choice for this kind of knife. Uh, it is definitely very stain resistant, rust resistant. Uh, not impenetrable though. Like if you leave 
lemon on here or mustard or something like that, it's definitely going to stain the knife. So you want to be careful about that and wash it off once you're done. Blood as well can stain a knife if you leave it on there. So, you know, uh, although this is a very good knife for uh, a lot of reasons or knife steel, you should definitely take care of it so that it lasts longer. And I really do like the way that G10 looks. The G10 ended up being less expensive than any of the other options of the general drop of this. And these are still available too. So you can go check it out. There'll be a link down below. I don't make any money off my DLT links, by the way. I do make a little bit of money off of my Amazon links, if you're curious. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Like and subscribe and leave a comment it really helps the channel. And if you want to be entered to win the knife of the month, all you have to do is support me by clicking on the Patreon link down below or the YouTube link to support, and I will enter you in to win a knife every single month. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.